Right, so today I'm going to show you how to organize your Next.js project the proper way, which means that you will have a good and solid foundation. You'll be able to add files easily. You'll be able to refactor the code base easily, and you will know where the things are in your code base. So that means adding new features is going to be very simple and the project won't grow into something unmaintainable. So let's get straight into it. You can also add improvements to this. You can modify it. This is something that I just recommend and that I use. I've created a Next.js project here. It's the latest version as of now. It's Next 13.4.4. The version is not that important because uh, we're talking about the project structure. We're not talking about anything specific, any implementation, so that we have to worry about versions, right? So you can create any version of the project, literally, because we're going to handle the approach of implementing stuff, not the actual implementation. So... The first thing that you will need is most likely a components directory. This is going to be probably the most important directory that you will be using. And we have to use a feature-based approach here, which means that let's say we have a profile icon feature, right? We have to implement a profile dashboard profile page. We need to have all the profile related components inside its own feature, right? So we will name it a profile. And now inside of this profile, we can say, for example, let's say profile icon.dsx. We're gonna say export default function. Let's just add some boilerplate icon here. Icon, there you go. Now, this is gonna be the component for the profile feature. If we don't have a specific feature we're gonna create a shared folder and inside of it let's create a button so i'm gonna say button.dsx and now we have a feature-based component folder and a shared component folder which means in the button component we can say export function, export default function, let's say button. And I'm not going to actually pass props to it, children, and then add it. We're just going to create some boilerplate code here. Let's say this is a button. Okay. Now, if we, if we approach the problems that we have with implementation as a feature based, that means that we can separate this easily. So for example, if we're going to have some dashboard for the users, we're going to say, user dashboard and inside of the user dashboard we can say let's say analytics or let's say just a bar chart for users we can actually make this bar chart even in shared and pass data to it so we can say users users list right and you can add a users list component inside of it and th the next time when you open the components directory you'll actually see that everything is separated and you know what's happening inside of your project so when you have to modify a feature for example like the profile icon you can easily know all the the, the, the components that are for that feature now this this components structure that we have right here is the same for all the other directories that we'll be using so the other directories that you will I guarantee that you will need them, is constants, is enums, if you're using TypeScript, if you're not, you're going to be placing the enums, the fake object enums inside the constants folder, most likely. You'll also need a hooks directory. You'll also need a services directory. And not inside hooks, but outside of it. You'll also need most likely a store directory because you're going to be using Redux or something else. You're also going to need a types directory if you're using TypeScript again, which I recommend. And you're going to be needing a utility directory. So let's see a practical example of how we're going to use one of these directories to organize our project even more. So let's say that this profile icon has to be, for example, size of 24, right? So we're going to say style, and we're going to say width of 24. But this 
is not good. This is hard coded and this is not going to be maintainable in the future. So we have to move this 24 to something to, to a constant, right? So we're going to follow the same principle that we followed in the components folder. And we're going to say constants, let's say profile, and we're going to say index.ts. And inside of this profile directory is going to be index.ts. And we're going to have a constant inside of here. So we're going to say export const default profile icon size. And let's say it's 24. Okay. Now we have to use this default profile icon size. And let's try to add it here, but it's saying we should import it. There you go. Now we have this default profile icon size. And tomorrow, when we go back to the project, we can see that inside of our constants, there is a profile directory and inside of it, there's an index directory and we can see all the constants that we need for the profile feature. You can also split this up. So inside the profile, we can have a profile icon directory and inside of it, we can have the index. It depends on how complex your code is. Now, that's a good import for the, for the, that's a good use for the constants directory. We can also use all of these other directories the same way that we're using the constants directory, right? So we can add any type, we can add anything to the store. We can add a service. So let's say we have to get the profile icon. We're gonna add again, the profile directory and inside of it, let's say, get profile icon.ts. And inside of here, we can write a, a fetch or you can use Axios, whatever you, you're using for networking to actually get the profile icon. So we're gonna send an API request to a URL, right? And we're going to return the data and you can then let's just fake this. So we're going to say export, export const, get profile picture. And we're going to say it's going to return a string and let's say HTTPS. I have no idea which site to put here. Let's say get profile picture. Now we organize this in a way where the services are the same as the constants are the same as the components, which means that when we have to go into the profile icon, let's say we have to get the profile picture. So we're going to say, so import image from next, next image. And let's say width is again, the width that we want. Let's say the height is the height that we want. And let's say the source is is the get profile picture. Okay. And there you go. We have the profile picture from services profile, get profile. And now we can place this source inside of here. And let's say alt profile icon. There you go. You have separated function. You have a separate constant and everything is not going to be inside of this component so that you won't be able to break your head once you come back after six weeks or six months to this component. You'll know, okay, I have a get profile picture here. Oh, that's inside services. I see I made a request and got the URL of the picture. The next thing, oh, that's the width, right? Let me just see what's inside the constants. Okay, I see it's the pic it's the constants for the, for example, the size. There should be a width, a height, maybe there should maybe be a default color for something, right? So for default profile picture, if the user doesn't have one, so you can have a white square or a black square. It gives you an exact easy to follow hierarchy, which will be followed by everyone. Again, you we can also use, for example, if the services is something generic, if it's something shared, you can just create a shared folder and inside of it, you place everything that's shared. For example, something for, let's say analytics, or you can also create an analytics and you can place everything inside of there. And you should follow this for every step and every component that you have, just like the pages, just like the enums and the hooks, create the custom hook, add the custom hook. If the custom hook is, let's say for managing local storage, you're going to say, it's inside of the shared. If the hook 
and let's add it here. So we're going to say use manage use local storage. Yes, we're going to write the hook there. If the hook is something for the profile icon, for example, calculate something, right? We're going to create a profile. And inside of this, we're going to inside the profile, we're going to say do something use do something hook right and this is going to be for the profile in this way you can keep your project very organized and very easy to maintain